Generals, gentlemen. All right, this is Cybert cool. signing into Open Red Alert, and this is indeed Open RA, and we're playing Red Alert, I should say. We are not indeed playing uh, Dib Dawn. No, and joining Mr. Cybert will be myself, Ownage Machine of the General Gentleman, General Gentleman, and we'll be battling it out in a one versus one match. Hey, I guess I didn't actually intro you, but at any rate, yes, I am joined here. I'm not by myself. Unit and ready. I'm also not with uh, one of the members of the RA community, so instead Unit it is ready. Owner's Machine, and we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at Open Red Alert, and hopefully discovering a couple of things about it, and sh kind of showing you guys what it's about a little bit. Not exactly a review, but we're going to be having a 1v1 and seeing which one of us is less bad at this game. We haven't played this game complete. much or, you know, the original game in a very long time. So we're going to be pretty uh, messy, pretty sloppy. But that's okay because because I am getting some dogs to scout oh no. and hopefully going to kill his rifleman. Dogs are pretty dodgy in this. Like, they're, they're, their behavior is so weird. This is freaking tiny. The map? I had no idea this map is this small. As you can see, uh, we're currently, like, building things in... Well, yes, we are currently building things, but also, what I wanted to point out is I had been kind of using the multi-building queue. So, as probably some of you noticed, I queued up multiple buildings behind one another, and, like, I can add on another structure there. So, both building queues and... Oh, it looks like I actually killed that dog. Very good. Uh, building queues and also, of course, production queues do stack infinitely. So you can you can basically just line up as many things as you want as long as you have the tech for them. And also another thing that I do want to mention is the appearance of crates, which I am about to capture one. And I just got a thousand dollars. So as you can tell, crates are pretty important. And also we do have very nice building tabs on kind of the right side there. So kind of it's kind of similar breakup to what you see in more modern games or more modern Command and Conquer games, I should say as not necessarily all RTSs share those uh, sort of similarities. But yeah, so as you can see, I can queue up multiple buildings. You don't have to have, you know, cash to pay for them as you would in other games. So it's it's Command & Conquer, it's Red Alert, but with some revisions. And it looks like my rifleman's just got absolutely owned there. Yeah, there's actually a lot more than just revisions. Like, there's a lot of balance changes. Uh, they've, they've added in new mechanics entirely. Like, for example, there's... The uh, veteran seer system that is just stock standard in in Command and Conquer ever since I believe Red Alert Two, um, but you know if you play the original Red Alert One, even uh, anywhere up to Tiberium Sun, units don't vet red and up. So there's veteran seer now. This is kind of a bit more sort of modern features that make it kind of appeal more to modern audience and. Also, the, the counter system, I think, the main thing, because the counter system in the original games, Tib, Dawn, and Red Alert 1, they were kind of broken. It was a bit too spammy, where this is like a, a really solid counter system that you would recognize from, you know, Generals or, say, uh, C and C3. Yeah, so it's there's been quite a few revisions. Also, new units have been added, and, I mean, there's, there's a feel of, of course, it's got the old-school art style, so you've still got that, but it just, it feels a lot more solid, and of course, you don't have to play it at, like, 640 by 480, as you can tell. Uh, this video is 1080p, and I'm also being rushed by infantry, it looks like, and by rushed, I mean, like, not rushed at all. It's actually a pretty delayed attack. Oh, pillbox! Yeah, wow. Yeah, they're pretty powerful. Yeah, yeah, it's going mass in versus, you know, anti-infantry defense. Ooh. It's my turn for a crate now, and how does that make you feel? That makes me feel pretty good, actually. As you can see, uh, <laughs> I'm doing a really bad job of actually building things, so probably I want to fix that a little bit and actually build and control more things and do better at winning, which is what I'm trying to do, but probably still not going to be doing very well. So the game, while it is, you know, pretty old school, it does feel, to some degree, like a modern game, as in it runs pretty smoothly. Of course, like, it's not perfect, so you're not necessarily going to be uh, microing like you can in StarCraft Two and, like, moving units as quickly as you can in some more modern games. But at the same time, it's going to be a lot more responsive and a lot more fluid than older games. Yeah, and it's so fast as well. Like, you just spam so many units. You build a rifleman in three seconds, and you just build a lot of them. 
Um, I hear gunshots, but I don't know where. I'm scared. So, oh, I accidentally just, like, force-fired a bunch of units all onto the ground. Oh, no. Also, your harvester, is he bugged out, or did you accidentally tell him to go there? I have no idea. I'm too busy trying to repel the evil Cybert and his army of doom. Yeah, I don't know why, but, like, I've pretty much only built infantry up to this point. And I yeah, was just, too. I was realizing that's... that I was like, why am I doing this? Like, that's just not a very good idea to only build infantry. I, I keep going to build the heavy tanks, and I, I keep forgetting that as Soviets, you do actually require to get, um, the radar van. And there is a flame truck. that's going to be pretty fantastic oh. here against these riflemen. Oh, take that. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, as you probably should be able to see, for those of you who didn't play the original games, it's like 80% of the content, or maybe 90%, is the same as it was in Red Alert. And then you have stuff like Attack Move, you have Rebindable Hotkeys, and actually, well, just Hotkeys in general, as I believe there were very limited Hotkeys in the original. I don't actually remember if it had Control Groups. I think it did, but I'm not... Yeah, no... My flame type cool stuff. I'm pretty sure there was. And there was, like, Force Fire and, like, Split and stuff like that. So pretty basic controls but not like production hotkeys or anything yeah that's one thing that you do have now is stuff like production hotkeys which is really quite useful and one of those things where it's like if if red alert would have been made in modern times it probably would have indeed had those features and this map is pretty darn small i do i do have to admit oh wow aircraft yeah it's a very aggressive map there's the the extra ore i believe it's called is is very sort of scattered but pretty close yeah, it's close because of, yeah, how small the map is. And, uh, I don't know what else to say. There's There's been a lot of changes, which is, I would say, overall a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's fun because it's like the original, but it's a lot more accessible. You don't have to and also try and get it to work. It just works straight away. It has, you know, full HD support. Um, it's a lot more streamlined, really. Construction complete. And also, it's free, Unit which I feel is pretty course. darn important. <laughs> of course, uh, EA did release the, I believe, everything up to Tiberian Sun in uh, the open domain. So they made it. Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say public domain. Uh, they they did release it to some degree for free. So all of the content from those games, you can download those games for free. Uh, Tiberian Dawn, Red Alert, and Tiberian Sun. All of those are for free, which is how they're able to make this, and how it's able to work. But at any rate, uh, so yeah, Open Red Alert, it's maybe not the most solid thing ever created, but at the same time, it is a great way to replay some of the classic Command & Conquer games, and also a great way to do just all sorts of things. What in the world was that? I think it's just my MCV. Reset my radar. What about your MCV? I'm sure it's doing... You almost killed it with one of your helicopters, because it was unpacked, so it was taking a lot of damage. Oh, that is... that's too bad. At any rate... Yeah, wow, they're actually very strong against buildings. Are they? Yeah. Unfortunately, they do have this reload thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, sheesh. So... From what I recall, the tech paths seem to be pretty darn similar. I'm actually doing a pretty bad pretty bad job of showing a lot of stuff because I'm trying to focus on actually saying things that are... I'm trying to focus on killing you, and I'm thinking of doing a pretty good job of it as well. You probably are, but then again, killing me isn't actually all that difficult. So, it's not necessarily oh. a feat to... I see you there with your forward refinery. Do you? Did you, oh, you dropped rocket troops on my base. Wow, that's... I did indeed. That's, that's brutal. This is something that I saw Scott doing in uh, Tiberian Dawn. And it was just like, wait a second, wait a second. I can do that. I can do that. Maybe not as effectively, but I can do that. Why I don't have a base defense queued is beyond me. Yeah, base defenses are really powerful. Tesla coils. Like, oh, amazing. Tesla coils are I think, really good. I think the, the turrets are pretty average, like the allied equivalents, but they're like a lot cheaper. Tesla coils are expensive. They cost 1200 I think turrets are like 1300 or something, they're really not a lot. And the other thing is, like, not only can stuff be expensive, but if it costs a lot of power, which I'm assuming that Tesla coils do, uh, one thing that we do want to mention that we kind of discovered was 
low power is really devastating in this game. It takes an extremely long time to get back up to full power. And uh, I'm not actually sure what just killed your dogs, but that's okay. And I think getting my radar reset. So there's crates, there's all sorts of different things which can affect the gameplay, but the game itself, and well, rather mods, because I believe this is technically how it works, is Open Red Alert is the mod engine, and then there's different mods for Open Red Alert, which are Dune 2000, uh, Tiberian Dawn, and Red Alert itself. So they're more of mods for the game rather than full games themselves. They all depend on that same engine. Ah! Oh, I got Sam! I got anti air. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. So I just lost yeah, that. I think it's a new animation. I would think so. Yeah, there's there's a lot of new animations. And as you can see, stuff, when it gets destroyed, it leaves husks. And I should probably actually be a, be doing a better job of everything. I wonder if you can still do the silo trick, where you, like, you, you creep silos to further your build radius. I don't know. I remember doing that like in the original. Hold, hold, hold. Silos. Training. Training. I should think so, but I'm not entirely sure. So there are there are uh, some issues with like the way certain units control. As you can see, rocket troopers don't always attack properly, and also Onage Machine is probably going to win, which is another. That's really just a bad game design thing. Like that's the fault of the devs. <laughs> yeah, the, the fact that you're losing. Yes. Is, uh, that, I think it's a sick However, uh, wow. as you can see, there is there are engineers that are very important oh, to snipe down. So uh, one thing that I do want to bring up is micro and kind of that whole idea because there is some micro, but as I mentioned, it's not necessarily like as you're not necessarily going to be like splitting hardcore marines, marauders, or really controlling tango vx combinations or like tech terrorin or anything like that. But there is definitely some degree of micro. It's just maybe not to the same extent as more modern titles. Yeah, I think um, one issue I have is it's very hard to spend your money because you know there's only one build queue. You, you've got infantry, tanks, and aircraft in like buildings. It's, it's not like, uh, say, you know, anything, zero hour CNC3 Red Alert 3, where you, you build several factories and you have you know, double or, or triple the production. So I'm on now, I'm sitting on 7,000 float, and I, I just can't spend it because I, you know, I can only build one tank at a time, and it actually takes 28 seconds to build a heavy tank. So it can be quite hard to actually you know, macro properly. Yes. However, if you're really bad at expanding, then you don't have enough money anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. Easy peasy. Problem solved. Just be bad at the game. <clears throat> ah shoot, there was there was another there was another thing I wanted to mention. There's a parties, man. It's uh hurting my feelings. Yeah, wow, that's that's actually doing a lot. However, uh aircraft do actually control pretty fluidly. <clears throat> which is something that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well not against Sam sites though, to be fair. No, Perhaps. no, I, I should have probably seen that one coming. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, hopefully I can kill you. Oh man. Yeah, it happens. It's, it's very hard to push someone off the map and kill them. At any rate, um, there were some other thoughts that I had about this, but I don't actually remember what they are. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really, not really recalling them. There was, there were some other things that I wanted to mention, but I don't really remember. I don't remember. That's all right. Well, I think I may win this game right here with my probably. heroic push. I'm probably gonna still win. Some. Well, I got an apocalypse tank on a crate. Yes, you can do that. Yeah, it's quite nice. You can get like MCVs, all sorts of crazy stuff. Shock trooper, Tesla trooper. Yeah, I believe Tesla troopers were in the expansion aftermath. Let's probably get some flight trucks. That probably would be good. Now, once I kill your power, you're going to be feeling a little bit weak. Yeah. So the, the game Whoa. balance and game design aren't like 100% set in stone. And uh, I don't know why they're... Why won't you refuel? So yeah, not everything is 100% locked down. 
and to some degree there is room for change, although not necessarily all of the time. What in the world is that? What is your gold trooper? What is he? It's a Tesla trooper. Oh, okay. Force fire. I have not actually, uh, I have not actually seen those up to this point. But I can snipe pretty well with, uh... uh My apocalypse tank, I think, can attack egg on it. Yes, yes. it can! Ha! Ah. Yes. Yep. Feels good. Don't worry. I've got expendable got units. units. I've, I've got flak types as well now. as flak, flak trucks. Yeah, they're in your unit. They were in um, Red Alert 2. What? The flak truck? I think it's called. The yeah, flak truck. Yeah. The little anti air flak truck from Red Alert 2. Oh, it's all the cells. Wait a second. How am I still in this game? Did you sell everything? Yeah. Oh wow, that's a lot of infantry. Oh yeah, but they're pretty terrible, so I'm gonna be able to beat them pretty easily. Oh wait, I have a I have a turret down here that I didn't sell off. <laughs> See, I can't tell. Yeah, base defense. Yeah. Interesting. So yeah, right. that's another thing. Look at that. Base defenses keep you in the game. That's kind of silly. I feel like that's I feel like that's a mistake. Yeah, that's just. I feel be like fun. that's bad. Sort of like in StarCraft 2, how the refineries keep you in the game. So you like, you, you won't win until you kill all of the refineries or have the uh, extractors or whatever they're called yeah. for each faction. But, um, yeah, that's that's a Battle it's control. interesting. I, I think it's one of those things that uh, if you're a big fan of the originals, and I'm sure most of you are, otherwise why are you on our channel, then you'll have a lot of fun with this. If you have never played the originals and you come into this, you'll probably be like, well, this has a lot of issues, and... Yeah, it kind of does, but it's, it's a very, very fun experience regardless. So I think definitely if you want to revisit the classics, then this is a good way to do so. And on top of that, since it is constantly in development, I know one of the things that we were talking with the devs about was the inability to sell structures, or that I was talking to the devs about, uh, the inability to sell structures when they're being capped by an engineer. So that was one thing that I felt like you should be able to sell structures while they're being capped by engineers. Because in Red Alert, if you think of the general style of capturing buildings, it's very similar. You use an engineer and then you stand it next to the structure. You give it the capture command and then it starts, you know, the building, I believe, actually flashes the color of the player who's capturing the building. So it's very similar to generals, but you cannot sell that structure. Well, no, in this, the engineer has like a little progress bar the building doesn't flash it's actually kind of hard to tell when your building's being captured oh i thought i thought i saw the building flashing in a different game in a different match that i played because uh, i'm pretty when i versed you last time i captured your mcv you didn't even realize it yeah but i also have pretty bad okay. map awareness okay so okay. that is that's not a fair comparison to make all right well you want to go again i'm up for another game